All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some more mono black zombies. This has been a surprisingly good deck that we've been playing here recently over the last few weeks or so. Something that we were, you know, pretty skeptical of, but been having some real good results with it. Mainly we've been beating up on control decks. That's what we want to face with our uh with our zombie menace, we have a pretty good clock. You know, we're, we got a, a good aggressive uh, curve at least. And then plus we have a lot of discard spells with a four drill bit in the main deck and also four more dresses in the sideboard to help uh, pick apart opponent's hand. And then we have some reach with the help of Creeping Chill and Liliana untouched by death, especially Liliana. Uh, being the extra re reach there. This is really the best card in the deck against kind of everything. Uh, we take, you know, full advantage of the plus one, always draining the opponent, the minus two, killing some creatures sometimes, not not real often. That's probably the mode that we use the least on the card because it, it does count zombies you control, not zombies in your graveyard, which is a little odd. Whenever the, the plus ability is milling cards, you would think the minus two would count cards in your graveyard then, so it synergize more together but it does and it's zombies you control so you know if we only have two or three zombies in play we're not you know uh killing very many creatures with the minus two but the minus three ability of casting our zombies from our graveyard that is after our opponents uh you know, destroyed a bunch of our creatures we can get them back with that minus three hey dragon's fall thank you so much for gifting that tier one sub Keeping the hype in the channel, and we are five subscribers away from our first ever sub battle day. That's right, taking an entire day of just uh, me versus subs here in the chat. It'll be awesome. Yep, only five more, almost there. Um, the so last time that we played this, we were losing a lot to green red aggro. We got paired uh, against green ag in three, or we played two different leagues, and we got. Paired against Green Red Aggro three times in the two leagues and lost all three of them. And so the card that we're going to try out here in the sideboard that we didn't have last time is Necrotic Wound to uh, have a, a one mana instant speed removal spell. Hopefully that we can get rid of things. And it can exile, so like Rekindling Phoenix, we get that out of there and everything. So we're going to try that card out. And we're also going to try this Mausoleum Secrets. Unclear how good this card will be. But this could be something where, since we've talked about how good Liliana is and how important Liliana is, maybe Mausoleum Secrets is like a fifth copy of Liliana that we can bring in against like slower control decks to kill a lot of our creatures. Then we can ha make sure we have like our undergrowth for four, go find Liliana, and have another Liliana. So that's kind of the plan with this Mausoleum Secrets in the sideboard. That'll, that'll be a new card to try out here. We'll see if it actually does anything or not. Unclear. But we'll give it a try. Okay. So, Mono Black Zombies. This is our second deck of the day. I got seven up on the schedule. Oh, I didn't... I didn't change our avatar. Could have had a better avatar towards a Mono Black deck. Ugh... Well, this is not a very good hand. But I don't think I want to go down to five. Okay, let's see how we do. So, yeah, the Creeping Chill's in hand. Definitely not, not something that we want in hand right away. Um, looking like that this is just is it Drake's and or is it Phoenix I mean ooh at least they did not they did not have like they were looking for a shock or a lava coil uh, there to kill my graveyard marshal and bring back both Phoenixes and at least they weren't able to do that because if, if they would have done that that would have been game over if they had turn three double Phoenix coming in attacking on the play that's just game over. Or maybe they have triple Phoenix this turn. Wow. 
Yeah, that's certainly... Yep, that's game over. We are not being Triple Phoenix. Alright, so Necrotic Wound has got to be good against Phoenix. And Cast Down can either kill the Electromancer or kill Crackling Drake. Do I want Drill Bit in this matchup? Maybe we don't need Drill Bit. We could probably take out Supplier. The thing is, with having Necrotic Wound, we kind of need to have Supplier to help fuel Necrotic Wound. We take out drill bits and two creeping chills. Let's try this. I don't think we played against Phoenix before with uh, with our mono black zombie deck here. But at least if we are playing this, I am glad that we have the necrotic wounds. It seems like a, a decent necrotic wound matchup. Does Liliana have an avatar? So we should have Liliana for our avatar for this one. Alright, time to supply some fuel for the wound. Lily is the default avatar. Perfect, we'll, we'll go switch that after this match. on top. Alright, really hoping we draw this land, be able to play Liliana next turn. We got good removal. And of course we're going to cast down this thing. Not Necrotic Wound, because I want Wound for the Phoenix to exile it. And we got the land. Here we go. Start draining. I value moral flexibility. You miss Garuk? Yeah. Garuk was a cool planeswalker. I think it would be it would be cool to see a fully corrupted mono black Garuk. Into All right, the we drain in. With you. And Liliana basically drew the gutter bones for us by milling it over and allowing us to go get it. That is a really nice looking gutter bones. Do I want to... Uh, minus three? No, not yet. <laughs> I have a deliciously morbid idea. We still have two creeping chills in here somewhere. But I think next turn we can go get like this Death Baron. 
which we did not have a Death Baron before, but next turn we can go get Death Baron. Yeah, I love having this Necrotic Wound because of Phoenix. Huh. Witness my power. So now Liliana's still not going to die just to a Phoenix. Ooh, our top card was Ral. No Phoenixes over there right now. A lot easier when they don't have all their phoenixes. Hey, Redgrave. And we'll let Liliana finish this off. Well, they aren't useful to me. Get alive. a zombie? No, didn't even get the zombie. All right, opponent's not dead yet. They're still alive. Oh, should be able to get it the next turn, though. Yeah, I like what we got going on here. Let's keep it. Oh, thank you, Sparrow. Sparrow saying that I've watched a few streamers playing Arena and you're by far the best. You don't talk down about opponents or to your viewers. Much appreciated. Yeah, happy to... Yeah, I mean that's that's just not me, basically. Is I'm not somebody to to talk down to anybody. I'm not. Yeah, like you'll just never find me doing that about anybody ever. That's just not me. All right, we are one and one going to game three, and we do have necrotic wound. We don't really have any way to fill our graveyard right now. Don't like the fifth land, of course. The four, the four lands is the most that we need. So we're just hoping to draw spells at this point. No lands. Yeah, it's just kind of our society. That's how some people like just talking down about other people to make themselves feel better kind of thing. Just, you know, something happens and everywhere, you know, I, you know, all the way from, you know, middle school to jobs to anywhere. And I'm basically playing the Death Baron instead of the Supplier because it just costs a lot more mana. It's not, you know, like either one would really kind of attack for two next turn. It's not like a, a great card to play here by any means. I don't think I want to necrotic wound that. We'll kind of see what happens here. So that's their first spell for turn. Drawing... Th you know, these are these four cards in our hand have been our four draw steps. No, we drew suppliers. We drew supplier and three lands. So they're about as bad as our 
draws could possibly be after our opener was three lands and a supplier. So they're missing land drops, and they're ditching Crackling Drake. So it'd be a lot easier if we could find a Liliana. So the problem so the problem with using Necrotic Wound is that they could they their hands probably filled with crackling drakes, and the crackling drakes are just gonna kill me. So that's the big problem with using my one removal spell here. However, Keeping Electromancer alive just gives them a lot of mana to help sculpt their hand. I'm not sure if there are any blue zombies. I know there are some green zombies. Or, at the very least, black and green zombies. Doesn't look good. Ooh, let's see what we got. So I'll let them make this take up decision before we do anything. I really should get back to the lab. It's just unfortunate. Our 22 land deck. We've drawn five lands in seven draws after keeping a four lander. Not much to do. It's a real unfortunate game three. It's all because we're not using Liliana as our avatar right now. Clear off more lands from the top. Okay. So we'll go creeping chill. Get back at our bones. Combo deck. We just had gutter bones that ETB'd and Dealt three and gain three, basically. And there's the, the beginning of the other crackling drakes we knew our opponent had. <laughs> no, not looking swell right now. Nope. Fair we started with a four lander. Andrew, for our first seven draw steps, was five lands, the one mana 1-1, one, one, and a removal spell.
Not ideal. It's a lot easier when we have Liliana, as we saw game two there. Oh, cancel. Wow. You never get to, like 10 seconds in and then get to cancel. Apologies for the smell. I've been recruiting. All right, Hawkeye. We're gonna need your help. Hawkeye just had his lunch. He's all happy. Look at his little brown nose. It was digging through his food. You know you can eat with your mouth. You don't have to eat with your nose, Hawkeye. He's always throwing his nose in the food. Eat like a pig. All right, let's lead with gutter bones. The elite arrester. That card is too elite. We can't get through that. Not with our bag of bones there. Good job, Hawkeye. Found that creeping chill. Could certainly be just like a complete anti-aggro deck that our opponent's using that that actually does a good job beating us up. Yep, that's our deck. Zombies and chill. Um, we have one creature in the graveyard the graveyard marshal can go get. Let's just do that. Dovin's Dismissal. Put up to one target tapped creature on top of its owner's library. Okay. Are they going to go get Dovin Architect of Law? Very nice. The old 26 to 1. Can they come back? I hope they play Cleansing Nova here. And I then I hope my Stitcher Supplier hits another Creeping Chill to finish the game off. Alright, we'll just take that. So... It's like blue, white... Control ish.
But maybe they have more creatures and stuff that we don't know about. Like, Duress is, like, the card that's kind of obvious to maybe bring in. I'm just going to run it back, though. All right, pretty good hand. Nothing to do on turn two, though, but we'll take it. No. Well, you, you can block before you tap stuff, but the, the creatures that are attacking you are already attacking you. So tapping, trying to tap a creature that's already attacking doesn't work. So they have to tap before combat. So next turn we'll have Death Baron be able to give these creatures Death Touch and pump them up. So now blocking doesn't help out too much. Concordia Pegasus. Hmm. Attack. Thing's got a big butt. Five toughness. <clears throat> but of course, I all of our things have death answer. touch. Oh, did that hurt? Oh right, gutter bones are not zombies. That's like the second time I've done that. I, I did that another time, and now I remember. Didn't actually kill that Pegasus. My B. I think we're going to be okay, though. New match. One and one. <laughs> We're not that close to a second one yet. Still just sitting right over here. Yeah, I guess they're... Yeah, they're not a zombie. They're just a skeleton, I guess. Yeah, because skeletons and zombies are different things. Are they? Maybe a, is it a zombie skeleton? Yeah, it should be a zombie skeleton warrior. Skeleton zombie warrior. I mean, it's just a pile of bones they found in the gutter, right? That's all this is saying? Because down here, things don't stay dead? That sounds like zombie stuff to me. I don't know much about zombie stuff, but that sounds like zombie stuff. Alright, we got three non-lands, which is pretty good, because I want land. Because I want to hit get to Liliana. Hmm. 
So obviously I'm attacking with these two. Do I let them get a free... No, I don't think I let them just <clears throat> kill the supplier whenever a supplier can be a 2-2 death touch. Okay, so that's why it's not a zombie. There's no flesh. Gotta have flesh for a zombie. So those are the rules. No flesh, no zombie. Do I want to trade Graveyard Marshal for Harpooner? Yeah. If I wasn't willing to trade Graveyard Marshal for Harpooner, I would have just played the Gutter Bones the last turn. <clears throat> We're just hoping to get to Liliana. to see a little more of what we had to offer. So, creature deck. Green, red, creature deck. These are, this is what we, like I, remember at the beginning of the video, talked about how last time we played this deck, we lost three times to green, red aggro. Uh, this green, red aggro opponent didn't have the best of hands, but they had creature on two, creature on three. We were on the play. So we got Necrotic Wounds. Do I want Ritual of Soot as well? Talk to about maybe... Do I take out... Should I take out Drill Bit? Hmm. If we just go with the four suppliers out, two creeping chill. I guess I kind of need those suppliers, though, for necrotic wound, don't I? You know, like, other things are going to be dying. Supplier, of course, is at its best when we have Death Baron. Without Death Baron, it's not nearly as valuable. Let me just go no chill. All right, let's try no chill. That's a good question. Are vampires zombies? That's a fair question. Ah, uh, it's got to be non-rotting flesh. Or let's see, zomb or vampires have non-rotting flesh, so zombies have rotting flesh. Oh, vampires retain their intellect. So that's the difference there. And vampires are not dead. So of course I don't want to trade before we play Midnight Reapers. I'd rather have play Midnight Reapers first. <clears throat> the big question is if I want to just cast down one of their things now. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just because we have... You know, like, we're going to be using our mana for a while here.
Phoenix. Could take out Lightning Strike. I probably just need to take Phoenix. Lightning Strike's definitely really annoying, killing the, the Death Baron. But yeah, as you can see, like these are all, like these are all a problem. Chain Whirler is a big problem. All these cards are a problem. A little pick me up before the real fun begins. This is why we were losing to this deck so much previously. Chain Whirler Phoenix, all this stuff. So if we, if we do draw... We have zero creatures in the graveyard, so even if we draw a Necrotic Wound, we don't have anything in the graveyard right now. No, I mean, we, we have removal spells. Like, we have more cast downs and contempts and everything. Them just playing a Chain Whirler isn't just a good game. It's not just game over. Ugh. Another coil. Stop coiling all my Midnight Reapers. Obviously, they're going to strike the Death Baron. Hey, welcome back, King Toll. The street urchins hit harder. <laughs> Thankfully, we're up a game <laughs> here against Green Red because we're going to be losing this game. Removal spell. It's not a bad draw. Whew. I mean, they're just pretty far away from casting Chain Whirler. I'll take the Demanding Dragon. They need two red for that. No, they only need one red for that. Alright, Cast Down or Contempt. I don't really want to use more rare wall cards. I need to sub in for one Reaper, one Gutter Bones, and one Graveyard Marshal. Yeah, you could just just put some removal in the deck. Something like that. Like, maybe put, like, some cast downs in the main deck. Um, you could have, like, cast downs or duresses. Things like that. Instead of those cards. You could also try Priest of the Forgotten Gods as well. Certainly hoping our opponent used the the Hellkite to, like, you know, mow down some of my creatures. But now, like, they're just going to be able to activate Hellkite, deal two to me, and kill me here. Opponent was pretty smart of attacking with Hellkite and getting aggressive and making a two-turn clock like that.
Yeah, so, Matthew, with your Garouk, your Garouk does look pretty cool. I think your plus one would have to be... You'd have to word it, put a prey counter on up to one target creature, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to activate that plus one if there is no creatures in play. And so your Garouk would just do nothing if there's no creatures in play. Let's try it again. I don't think I want Mausoleum Secrets. We saw like that game. We didn't even have any creatures in the graveyard. No, I don't. I don't know why they would put prey counters on Planeswalkers. Not not at that mana cost. What's the odds of hitting seven of getting a seven land hand in a twenty two land deck? That can't be very high odds, right? And in fact, we got seven swamps. There's only 21 swamps in the deck. So you could even bump it down. There's 21 swamps and we had seven swamps in our opener. And there's 21 swamps. I mean, it would be 21 out of 60 times 20 out of 59 like as a you know 21 divided by 60 times 20 divided by 59 and so on times 19 divided by 58 and all the way down so that's a that's a tough one there i i need this fourth land because i need to have liliana on turn four but i also can't as we've played some of these games i can't just win if we just draw nothing but land so ditching the land it does give us the opportunity to play something on turn two, which is good. But if we don't get our fourth land drop, this is going to be trouble. Opponent starting with Forest Forest is good for us, though. It's difficult to cast Chain Whirler after Forest Forest. Alright, Forest Forest, and then a card that doesn't really do anything. So, playing Liliana goes to five loyalty. Are they going to have, like, a... Five power haste creature. No, probably not. Start draining. I've one person's trash is another woman's army. Down to eleven. Plus, if they if they play a creature and they're attacking Liliana, it's just then these things are going to be killing them, you know, a lot faster. So yeah, they have to play defense. Don't get squeamish on me. Hmm. No drain there. But we did get a free gutter bones. And I'll just pick that up and play that here. But yeah, it is true that, that Garouk does wander and yeah, Garouk does is does kill planeswalkers and everything, but Okay, the the other thing is, it would not be a 1-1 one, one black deceased wolf token. That doesn't... I have no idea why you have the word deceased <laughs> there. That that shouldn't Where be there. It should just be a wolf token. Like, Garouk made black wolf tokens before, right? It was, they weren't deceased wolf tokens. That's... Yeah, get rid of that word. Or diseased? Oh, it's diseased. Just, just make it wolves. If 
from the graveyard. We only have four mana. Just keep ticking up. One person's trash is another woman's army. Because like, look at like the previous Garouk. Isn't don't they just have like make wolf tokens with death touch? Yeah, Garouk the veil cursed. Hey, and we defeated red, green, min range, aggro, or whatever. This one, I guess that was a, a lot more, a higher CMC deck than regular green, red, aggro. Um, you know, we saw more dragons and everything. Our opponent having Rhythm of the Wild, that was a dead card. Our opponent even play a creature. If you, if you like playing red, green decks, don't play Rhythm of the Wild against aggro. That's Rhythm of the Wild is awesome against control, boarded out against aggro. It's hard to mulligan when we know we have Liliana on turn four, but we have nothing on turn one, two, or three yet. We have draw steps. But man, if we just had Anything else to go with Liliana, I'd be keeping. If Literally anything. But we have nothing. <laughs> if we had four land Liliana, and then any like non-land card that was a creature or a removal spell or anything else, just Creeping Chill is nothing. No, I guess no Grixis discard today. Played it the other day. Oh, here, let's... There we go, let me... Position this a little better. I don't want to cover up the name. There we go. Eh, that's good enough. Alright, what are we playing against? Red? Oh no. So as y'all know, red, kind of the same thing with the red-green aggro. Red red aggro, which is not what we want to face. Red aggro outclasses us by a lot. We want to face control, not mono red and red-green. They just have so much good removal for our creatures. They're much more efficient than us. Hmm. <laughs> we need to add a land to the deck so the shuffler will give us fewer lands. Take out both firebrands. It's, it's not bad. Hey, Nimbus Mage, Maze. Yeah, glad you got off work early. Also. You can. I value moral flexibility. We can't whiff. We need to hit zombies, you know, have them lose life, we gain life.
I could cast Death Baron plus Diagraph Ghoul. That doesn't do a whole lot for us, though. Don't get squeamish on zombie. Me. Okay, we got a zombie, and we got a Gutter Bones. We'll pick up and put in our hand, but I need to cast this Creeping Chill right now. Hey, Sculpt of Mind. Dang. Okay, so we're going to need... Definitely going to need Cast Downs and Ritual of Sets. And maybe Duress? I don't know. That's a lot of things. I do not want Midnight Reaper. I don't really even want Gutter Bones. Because, like, I need to keep my zombie count high for Liliana. So I think it's Gutter Bones that's coming out because of that. And it's also just a one-toughness creature that's just going to die to Chain Whirler. Supplier is another one-toughness creature that dies to Chain Whirler, but I do like how it fills the graveyard for, like, Liliana's minus three or, uh, you know, helps us find Creeping Chills. But maybe we cut one. No, I probably need to keep it. We need to keep zombies. All right, four duress, four drill bit. We don't need all of those. Let's take out a drill bit. Do I play Necrotic Wound over other drill bits? Dragon's Fall! Got a deck for you to try out sometime. Awesome! Thank you. Yep, anytime you want. You just let me know what day, what time to play it. Boom. Getting towards that next gem pack. So the biggest thing I'm questioning is whether to play Necrotic Wound or Drill Bit. Um, we got two wound, one bit. Let's try that. Oh, yeah. Okay, play first. Not bad, not bad. I like seeing this ritual of soot. Because as we saw that game, like, our opponent just having a bunch of creatures is a problem. We want to kind of turn into a control deck here. Liliana, like always, being one of our most important cards. We're going to give them another turn. It's not like turn one we need to, you know, duress any spell. Let's give them another turn to... I think they scryed on top. Maybe they didn't, but I think they scryed on top. But we'll see if they found, like, light up the stage there. And they did. So give them another turn to draw that light up the stage. <laughs> you can send me the deck list right here. That's good. Yeah, you could have just put it in that, that message. Um, if you're not sure how to... Yeah, there you go. Sculpt of mine. Let you know. Yeah. Ah. That's unfortunate. I was hoping our opponent was going to have to pop the firebrand and then skewer it. Ah. Okay, good. Bunch of spells, good. Let's right, start, start draining. Uh, well, they aren't useful to me alive. All right, creeping chill. I'll do its thing. Back to twenty. Gain three. Yeah, our duress was really clutch of taking their first light up the stage. Into the grave with you. 
Man, we are not doing good at... We're not doing good at Liliana ticking up and milling over a zombie. But still worked out. Alright, if our opponent does not play a second land, we will likely win. Alright, on the draw, let's just go all Necrotic Wound, no Drill Bit. Oh, that's awesome, Corn Lover. Glad you're liking the Abzian Legends deck. That one was... The Abzian Legends was made by... I guess that's the only Legends deck that I didn't make. That was made by a viewer. Uh, that was a, a donation deck. Stop. I'd like to find Ritual of Set. That'd probably be like the card I'd want to draw more than any other. Hmm. So I probably need to kill that Steamkin. And I'm gonna have to wait on these Necrotic Wounds before uh, until after we play Liliana. Ritual of Set would be our best draw. For sure. For sure. Okay. Diagraph ghouls doable. Just pumping up these wounds. So I can... Uh... Yeah, we're just going to kind of have a sacrificial Liliana here. Fill the graveyard. Come on, lots of zombies. Zombie, zombie, <laughs> zombie. Alright, we got one zombie. One is not really enough. I kind of needed two zombies. I needed these to be threes. Don't have a spell. Have a land, please. Have... Don't have a spell. I'll actually try next time. Hmm. I think our opponent has a removal spell here for how they're looking at their hand and everything. So I think I just have to pass. Problem is still killing the Steamkin. so big. Use our opponent whiffing a little bit. No, I guess I'm just dead. Stop drawing creeping chills. Mill them over. 
Yeah, I guess I need just to use the, the other necrotic wound on the lava runner, I suppose. Hmm. I guess I need to kill the Lava Runner. I could have saved two life. I would have just killed the Lava Runner last turn. Could be up four. Dang. Dang. Steam can just... Too big. We put up a pretty decent fight, though, against Mono Red. Our worst matchup. Put up a pretty decent fight. So two and two. Respectable. Respectable. That first... The first league also... Um, or the first match. You know, where we just drew land after land after land after land on the game three... There was just nothing we could possibly do about that. But we played some close ones there against Red. Um, you know, drew two Creeping Chills where we want to have those in our deck to mill over. You know, our opponent just had awesome hand there, Game 3. Their Game 1 hand was really good, too. And being on the play, that kind of stuff. And, you know, that happens. But it didn't, it didn't feel like that matchup was so bad. I liked our sideboarding plan. I liked taking out Gutter Bones, Midnight Reaper for Necrotic Wound, Cast Down... Wound was certainly unreliable. And I wonder if we should just be playing four cast down to wound. That's probably likely. So I think we'll we'll make that change for next time. Because cast down, of course, was awesome. Uh there. And that was kind of like the un unreliable thing. If we could have just if we could have just had a second cast down and was able to kill that other steamkin early. I honestly think we could could have won that because I don't think I wouldn't have had to just slam Liliana just to turn on necrotic wounds kind of thing if we just had an extra cast down in our hands. I think we could have maybe won that. Like Liliana would would have been awesome later. I don't know. Who knows? It would have been a lot closer though. Max has been playing the deck seven two unranked one four ranked. Feels too luck based. Not really I don't know if yeah there's like not there's not a whole lot of decisions to make with the deck you know you just try to curve out into Liliana kind of thing it's an easier deck to play yeah we could have blocked the steamkin minus three it that last turn oh Pilkey yeah, so when it, when we just had that Graveyard Marshal, I don't know why I was thinking that... I just had it wrong in my head for some reason. I was thinking that if I used Graveyard Marshal and Necrotic Wound to um, team up on the Steamkin, to take down the Steamkin, we would have... Um, like, our Graveyard Marshal was going to be dying too, but we it would not have, because the Steamkin would have just been a 1-1, one, one, and Graveyard Marshal was a 3-2, it would have survived... If I would have done that, then the next turn I could have played another Graveyard Marshal and had, you know, two blockers for their... Basically, we would have gone to we would have gone to two. They have two two ones, and we have our Graveyard Marshal in play. Um, and then we could have either played our second Graveyard Marshal and been able to check the battlefield, and we're at two. Or we could have cast the Creeping Chill to gain three life and, you know, go to five. Either of those decisions, though... With our opponent top decking skewer, we would have lost with the opponent top decking skewer, but that certainly would have put me in a better position in general, though. Yeah, I should I should have done that. I don't know why I had it in my head that would have been trading the graveyard marshal also, because that is not what happened. But yeah, there was mono black zombies. 
I think we're getting closer. I think the addition of Necrotic Wound was good. We didn't get to play against any control decks. Didn't get to really use the Mausoleum Secrets, but let's get the extra cast down in there too. Um, but yeah, uh, but we're getting closer with the deck. Um, and there we go. So uh, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.